Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to add motion blur to your fluid. You might think to just click on the motion blur in the render settings and then hit render, but that is not what we're going to be using. We're going to be using what we call vector blur. It's a fast and easy way to add motion blur to your scene in the compositor, and it still looks pretty good. In the fluid domain mesh panel there is a thing called use speed vectors. If you don't know what that does, that is how you add motion blur to the fluid. Checking this box and baking in the simulation won't really do anything at the moment. That's because we first need to change the format volume from OpenVDB to Unicache. OpenVDB will not work to use speed vector, so make sure you do use the Unicache format. Once you change it and then bake in the simulation, now we have the information that to add motion blur into the compositor. Before we render, there are a couple of things that we need to change. First off, the render engine we need to switch from Eevee over to Cycles. Eevee unfortunately does not support this feature. After that, we need to enable the vector and the Z pass in the render layers panel. Once you've done that, now we can render out an image. Once the render has finished, jump over to the compositor and then we can add in the motion blur. If you press Shift A and go over to Filter and then add in the vector blur, you can place it right here. Take the vector from the render layers and plug it into the speed input of the vector blur. Once you do this, you're going to get the look of motion in your fluid. If you turn up the blur amount, you're going to get some weird bleeding issues on some of the parts of the fluid. Remember when we added in that Z pass in the render layers? Well, let's take the depth value from that and plug it into the Z. Now that's going to fix all of the bleeding issues and now it's going to look nice and crisp. The sampling at the top gives you better results but it takes a little bit longer to composite. Sometimes you're going to get some repeating patterns in the motion blur, so turning this up will help smooth it out. And then of course the blur amount is how much blur there's going to be. Probably a value of 1 or so will work for most scenes. The speed mid and max values control whether or not to apply the blur depending on the speed of the simulation. If the velocity of the fluid is below the minimum, the blur will not be applied. The maximum works slightly different, it is the maximum amount of blur that will be applied to the simulation. So even if an object is moving a lot faster than another object, the same amount of blur will be applied if you set the max value. And then finally, the curve option takes the interpolation between the different frames and then sets it to be a bezier curve rather than a straight line. With a lot of my testing, there is very little difference in this setting, so I just usually just leave it off. Once you're happy with all of your settings, just set an output and then render out the simulation. Now your fluid will have some motion blur. I think adding motion blur to any fluid simulation is a really good idea and it helps take your simulation to the next level. Here is a before and after. This one on the left has a simulation without any motion blur, and the one on the right does have motion blur. As you can see, the one on the right does look slightly more realistic and I think it is a cool effect. So there you go, that is a very easy way to add in motion blur to your fluid. Thank you for watching, and if you're new, consider subscribing because I upload Blender tutorials all the time. If you have another idea for a tutorial, let me know in the comments. But that's going to do it, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.